Action. Okay, so this is gonna be a fairly quick video and all I'm doing today is testing the audio quality on the Pixel 4, which is on the left here, and the iPhone 11 Pro, which is on the right. Now, last year, I had a ton of issues when I was using the Pixel 3 for audio recording when recording video. It was just really garbled. Uh, you know, they used, I guess, some type of, I don't know, whatever, encoding or compression, and it was just awful. Now, I don't really want to be testing video here. I mean, you guys can take a look. I'll take a look as well. I'll give my results. Or I'll give you my results now when it comes to video. For one, that shit is dark on the iPhone 11 Pro. I don't know if it's because the blinds behind me are really bright with the sun peeking through and the iPhone 11 Pro doesn't want to overexpose, but like I'm four shades darker brown there. I don't get that brown until summertime. But I really wanted to just see if they fixed the audio issues that was plaguing the Pixel 3. And just for reference, when we're talking about video here, I am actually using the front cameras of both of these phones. I've been noticing that on the Pixel 4, even though the lighting is actually really good in here, you can just see that like it's kind of flickering on and off. And I don't know if that's gonna show up after I output this video, but the iPhone 11 Pro isn't exhibiting that kind of stuff. Flickering was the wrong word here. It, it looked like it flickered, but it was more like gradual shades of darkness and brightness. Because again, I think it's fighting with the sun or the light that's coming from behind me. And that's probably why it was so much darker on the iPhone 11 Pro, but still, if I had to pick one, I would pick the Pixel 4 here. It just, I'm the subject, I should look not so dark in that shot. Anyway, I'd like to say I'm maybe three feet away, three and a half feet away from both of these phones. And again, both of these phones are literally right next to each other. So one isn't further away than the other, even though that, you know, myself in the frame, it looks like I'm a little further away on the iPhone 11 Pro than the Pixel 4, but trust me, they're right next to each other. Anyway, again, this is just a quick test to test the audio quality on the Pixel 4 and on the iPhone 11 Pro. I will give my results after I go through these files and that's it. Okay, plain and simple, the audio is way, 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 way better on the Pixel 4 than it was on the Pixel 3. Way better, like tons. With that being said, I think the audio quality on both the Pixel 4 and the iPhone 11 Pro were excellent. I don't think one was necessarily better than the other after listening to the output. Google, that's some good shit. It was actually, I did not expect that at all, so kudos to you. Okay, so if you didn't watch my last video and you didn't hear the news, I quit my job again to do YouTube full time again. One, because this is what I love to do. It, it makes me happy, it keeps me fulfilled, and two, I get to be super creative and I get to share my love of tech with you guys. And three, even though one and two are super important, this is still a tough grind and I'm here to ask for your support. For a dollar a month, you can support me on Patreon and get access to all my behind the scenes posts, my interactions, my engagement with my patrons, and you get to see shit that I don't really talk about elsewhere. You'll get to be at the end credits of every video and more importantly, that support will help me create daily videos. It'll help me get access to phones so I could do more camera tests and video tests and it'll help pay rent and put food on the table. Although I could probably back off from the food a little bit, but you know what I'm saying. And for $3 a month, you'll get all of that plus a phone Jerome sticker. And you can slap that shit anywhere, like on my bike helmet. With that being said, I wanna thank Benjamin, Emily, and Marshall for being my newest patrons on Patreon. Thank you guys so much for your support. And finally, feel free to check me out on Instagram at phone Jerome, where I post daily. I'm very active on Instagram. And at Twitter, at phone Jerome, where again, I could be a lot better posting there. You guys can prod me and we can talk there too. So check me out there and I'll catch you guys in the next video.